Assalamu alaikum. Today I will discuss an important topic, and I will show you step by step how to do it. Nowadays, no matter how much RAM and storage is given to smartphones, after a while it gets filled up. The only reason for this is the large number of apps, photos, and videos. Due to these, there is a problem with the storage of the phone. In such a situation, we have to transfer all the data of the mobile to the laptop or computer. Otherwise, various problems arise in the phone. The phone becomes very slow. Sometimes it hangs again. After a while, the phone stops working completely. Then all the pictures, videos, useful data of the phone are deleted. To avoid this problem, many people transfer all the data of the phone to the laptop or computer. Although it is a very easy task, but many people do not know how to do it. Even sometimes all the data is not transferred correctly. We usually use data cable or Bluetooth to transfer any file from Android phone to computer. However, if you want, you can transfer all types of content from your mobile to computer or laptop without the hassle of any cable connection. Although it may sound surprising, you can transfer files from Android device to computer without USB cable by following just a few simple steps. Suppose you don't have a USB cable and for some reason share it or Bluetooth method is not working. Then the only way to transfer files is FTP server. FTP is file transfer protocol through which files stored on a host server can be accessed remotely. And the speed of copying a file to a pin drive on a PC, you will get the same speed when downloading something from an FTP server. Those who download movies and games from servers on a broadband line will already know about this. Now by making your mobile a host server, you can download the files of your mobile to your PC. First, Download the Wi-Fi FTP server app from the Play Store. Then open it. Tap the settings icon and go to settings. It is better not to touch the port number part here. It will be automatically set according to your router. If the anonymous access box below is checked, even if your user ID and password are given, anyone can access your mobile files by just pressing the address. So if you want to give a username and password, uncheck this box. In the root folder box below, you can select your memory card or phone memory or both. And if you check the read only box, you can only copy from the phone. You cannot edit, delete or paste. Now go to the main menu and click on the start button and take a good look at the server URL below because you have to type exactly this in the browser of the PC. For example, here FTP forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.3 colon 2221 is written. This is what you have to give. Even if you give 192.168.0.3 colon 2221, it will not work. And even if you give www.192.168.0.3 colon 2221, it will not work. FTP forward slash forward slash 192.168.0.3 colon 2221 or the server address given in your app, type it in the browser on your PC and enter it. You will see that your memory card slash phone memory has been moved to the browser. Now click on the file you want to bring to your PC. The download will start, but don't worry, it will not cut your net data and will be downloaded to your PC in the blink of an eye. Now let's see how to transfer files from Android device to computer. I hope today's post will be useful to you. Always try to transfer files using a USB cable. 
And of course, after transferring files using FTP or ShareIt, double check that your connection is turned off. Otherwise, you may face various problems. For example, anyone can access the FTP server and steal your mobile files or access the ShareIt hotspot and enjoy your Wi-Fi without a password.